somebody's houseboat was hopefully moored there before it got wedged there. back home and really the expected high waters and things just but in theory all these little islands out here coming into the Laguna Madre should all be underwater but they're not well a few boats though people that didn't get their boats. Oh, that one boat is like totally tore up. All right, here we're coming on this one. I'm gonna, it's gonna be windy, but I wanna show you this uh, SUV here that's in the water. You can see it from here. That's a bummer. That guy's smart, he's getting his waders on. And here are these power poles. As you we come across them, you're going to see them leaning more and more. I'm going to find the wind. I'm going to stick my hand out the window, probably. Okay, Cedric said no. But you can see these power poles, how they're kind of leaning. Some of them are drastically leaning. on the island there was a, a big windstorm and um, rain and that actually snapped um, a couple of these power poles and I'm always curious to know why they're not been replaced considering the infrastructure that's needed on the island for electricity and then looking that way that gets you down towards the Corpus Christi Bay and the downtown area, which I hear got quite a bit of water compared to us in the bluff, at least my part of the bluff. 